it's Veronica, your friendly neighborhood Tupperware lady. I'm here with my trusty sidekick, <laughs> Christina, back there giggling behind my phone. And today we're going to make some um, Mexican coffee. This is my own recipe because all of the ones I looked at were just slightly different and I took all the elements from the ones that sounded good that were different and put them together to make my own. We're going to do it. We're going to have cold brew Mexican coffee. This is our cold brew carafe. Three pieces. Got a plastic carafe. You can drop it. It bounces, not breaks. Have a reusable mesh filter. It's good for ever, I guess. It's got tiny little holes in it. If you can see right here, a little line. There's your regular brew. Here, no, this is your no, this is your concentrate. This is your regular <laughs> brew. And you just fill the coffee to wherever you want it. You don't even have to go by these lines. You do it to your taste. This is not a seal. It is a lid. It sets on here while you're brewing. When you're done, take it like this. Set it on there and it catches the gooby. Now, for cold <laughs> brew, you're supposed to use kind of a coarse grind coffee, but I didn't have any. And I didn't have any coffee beans to grind, so what do I care? <laughs> We're going to put, like, I think up to here is about a cup of freshly ground coffee. It's not really freshly ground. They ground it at Folgers. <laughs> you know the place where they do Folgers. I don't know where that is. That's uh, about, hmm, that's about a cup. It is up to approximately this line. It may be a little higher. Can you see it? I can't. I can see the camera through the filter. <laughs> but it's there anyway. So, got my coffee out of my handy dandy one touch canister. A little window lets you see when you glow. Can you see? Alright, so this recipe, <laughs> the first one I saw had cinnamon sticks in it. Cinnamon is my favorite. I don't know why I took that off. I didn't have to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put two cinnamon sticks in <laughs> Did you see that? I couldn't have done that if I tried. <laughs> okay, so we got two cinnamon sticks that I keep in my also handy dandy large spice shakers. This is um, whole cloves. You know what? Smell it. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. <laughs> smells like Christmas. It had, one had a little bit of cloves and nutmeg, so I just like sprinkled some in there because, you know, cloves are a little overpowering sometimes. And here's my nutmeg. The uh, large spice shakers, they've got an opening for spoons or pouring and sprinkling. Can't sprinkle whole thing. But you can pour them. This is some little whole nutmegs. Have you ever seen a whole nutmeg? Look at that. It's like a little tiny nut. Alright. So, that was pretty much the dry stuff that I found in all the different recipes. So, those are some of my favorite spices. So, I thought, what the heck? It may not end up being Mexican after all. Also, mm -hmm. what do I care? And what we want to do is just pour some water into here slowly. If you do it too fast, your uh, coffee will float up to the top of the filter and the filter will start floating. So you want to do it slow. And I am pouring it out of our mix and store pitcher. This is an old one, as you can see by the blue color. See the coffee? Already starting to coffee up? Yeah. Color. It's getting color. Oop, see that? <laughs> Went too fast. It'll soak in there in a minute and just sink back down. That's what happened the last time I made some. But you run the danger of overfilling your carafe if you pour it in too fast. So, I'm going to pour it up to right about here, if I can tell where that is with my glasses off. I can tell see me it. Stop, Christina. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you? I didn't say so. 
Sorry. I was going to say. I said I put vanilla and almond in it. I think you put a little bit more in it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So ah. that took, let's see. Where is the cup thing on here? Yeah, huh. Okay, so there's three left in there. That took about five cups of water. And if you can look in here, you can see the coffee up at the top. There's a little cinnamon stick right there. You see it's <laughs> little top? Or it could be a clove. I don't know. But anyway, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that cool? All right, and the other, the other ingredients <laughs> I found, which is really weird to me, was... Uh, Vanilla and almond extract. It called for two teaspoons. Hope that's vanilla. Yeah, that's vanilla. <laughs> we have a lot of flavors. Two te teaspoons of vanilla and two teaspoons of almond extract. But the last one we made was like really almondy. So I'm only going to put one in there. You can adjust all of these to your specific taste. Ta ta! I see a little clove. Mm -hmm. And then all we have to do is set the lid on and put it in the fridge. And we will have Mexican cold brew. It looks like we could dang near drink it now. <laughs> not really. I'm lying. No, I'm not lying. I'm honest. Yeah, that's me. Honest. And we just put it in the fridge overnight and we will have cold brew in the morning. But through the magic of Christina's television, look at that. It's done already. Look at this, Christina. And again, I didn't have any coarsely ground coffee, so we're going to have the little, um, if you want to, you can like filter it through a strainer, another strainer, or a paper towel or something, some cheesecloth, whatever. But Coffee filter. It, oh, you could use a coffee <laughs> filter. Oh, you are brilliant. This is the lid once again. I'm just going to set that on there and it's going to catch the uh, leavens that come out. Here is our cold brew. If I had thought ahead, I would have already had ice cubes made, but I didn't. Look at that. It's a little late at night for me to be drinking coffee, but. It's Friday. I don't have to be up in the morning. Ooh, that's definitely got a little kick to it. Do you want to taste it? We also had uh, uh, found a recipe that had one had cayenne pepper in it, one had chili powder in it, and there was some other kind of something had a little spice to it. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. I think I like it, but. Let me show you one more thing before I let you all go. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to make myself some ice cubes that won't dilute my cold brew. Because I do like cold iced coffee. You can heat it up in the microwave, which I'll probably do in the morning. But anyway, these little things right here, when you have your cubes already frozen, When you have your cubes already frozen, you can just pop these like this and just boink, and your cube will pop out. I could show you with a regular ice cube. Where's my coffee? <laughs> anyway, just gonna pour some cold brew in here. Make myself some little ice cubes for our cold brew tomorrow, and um, later on we'll have some. Dulce de leche creamer to add to it. This is the seal for the ice tray. If you're doing it at the sink, you have this open and run the water in this way. And it has a fill line. This closes, keeps your ice cubes fresh, and you don't get any smells from anything else that might be in the freezer. And it also keeps you from spilling it, spilling it on the way to the freezer. So there we have. I'll put that in the. But I am going to just focus in on one of that coffee thing. Okay. Ice tray out there. Ooh, blackberry. <laughs> how long these have been in here? Because I don't use much ice. So 
Well, here is. Oh, not really anymore. <laughs> it was overfilled this, a little bit. It was overfilled. So you can see all these little bumps are up. See the difference? And when you want some, just give it a tiny little twist. And even overfilled, that's how easy it is to pop out the ice cubes. Is that not amazing? That's way better than the old metal ones or even the um, oh, modern those old metal plastic. ones. Oh, the old metal ones. They were so much fun. Yeah. So anyway, hey. Veronica, your friendly neighborhood Tupperware lady. Christina, the uh, crusty <laughs> sidekick. Back there rubbing her eyeballs. I think she may be ready for bed at only 7 o'clock. <laughs> so, um, hey, if you want a cold brew carafe. Large spice shakers. Fresh and pure ice, ice trays. <laughs> One touch canister, measuring mates. Is that all I've got? Oh, mix and store pitcher. I got them all. I hit me up. Were you even focusing on me, or were I was, you focusing back there? I was <laughs> showing the stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can saw the phone pointed in a totally different direction. So yeah, hey, have a great night. Bye.